Welcome back Photoshop users. Today I want to go over just some simple basics of printing and, and kind of previewing your colors here inside Photoshop. This image is going to go out to CMYK printer, process printer. And as we're making color choices, it'd be nice if we could see how those CMYK colors are going to proof or preview. Now right now I'm looking at it in RGB. Okay? We're working in the RGB color space. And I want to have the ability to kind of see how my colors are going to look if we're in the CMYK color space. So real quickly, if we hit command Y or control Y on a PC, you can see that that color toggles back and forth. Uh, it gets a little flatter, more vibrant when we're looking at the RGB, and a little less vibrant. And if we look up here where my cursor is, you'll see that that changes. Um, we're looking at it in RGB mode, or proofing it in RGB. And if we hit Command Y, we can now proof it CMYK colors are going to look like. And you'll see they're less vibrant, a little flatter. And that's handy to know because then we can make some color adjustments and tone down some of the saturation in that area of the flag. Now another way that we can proof these colors, we call this out of gamut color range. We can go up under view and pull down to gamut warning and you'll see that the keyboard shortcut is shift command Y. So if we add the shift button to our command Y. We now see areas over here in this magenta, fuchsia kind of color. And those are the colors that are going to be affected when we convert into our CMYK uh, color mode. And we can change this. If we don't like seeing that in a pink, we can come over here into Photoshop and under Preferences, uh, pull down to Transparency and Gamut. And right here, under gamut warning, we can change that color to anything that we want to. So since this is a red image, let's just change it to something green so that we'll really be able to see it. And we can change the opacity if we want to. I'll take that down to 75%. And then when we hit OK, now you'll see that those colors that we need to worry about or fix are in this nice, bright, hot green. So. Shift Command Y to turn off that gamut warning, and then Command Y to get back into our RGB display. All right, I hope that helps. I will see you down the road in yet another video tutorial. Thanks for watching.